Modok is finally in the MCU, so why are some Marvel fans so grumpy about it? It's hard out there when you're just a head in a chair. Audiences around the world will soon get an up-close and personal look at the Quantum Realm in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. As the new trailer dropped on January 10th reveals, Scott Lang is whisked once again into this bizarre and fascinating pocket dimension where he's greeted by alien landscapes and some imposing new characters. The major villain of Quantumania is Kang the Conqueror, but there's also another famous Marvel villain lurking in the background in the new trailer, MODOK who has long been speculated to have a role in the movie. I'm a big deal! I, I just fought Iron Man! I stole his boot! Comic book aficionados or fans of the Hulu show know that MODOK stands for Mental Organism Designed Only for Killing, and he has a rather distinct look. MODOK is essentially a giant head wrapped in advanced robotics with tiny, almost vestigial limbs. By no means does that make MODOK a pushover, and although his physical form is peculiar, his mental prowess is more than capable of giving superheroes a run for their money. MODOK was originally a human technician named George Tarleton, who was transformed by the villainous organization known as AIM, or Advanced Idea Mechanics. However, it seems as if Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is taking a slightly different approach to the source material and bringing back Ant-Man's original movie foe. AIM has already been brought up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Iron Man 3 as the think tank for Aldrich Killian. Advanced Idea Mechanics, or AIM for short, do you get it? I see that because it's on your t-shirt. Oh, I Plus, Tarleton hasn't shown up, so it seems as if MODOK will instead be Darren Cross, or at least some variation of the character. When audiences last saw Cross, he was battling Ant-Man at the end of the first Ant-Man movie, but Cross was eventually defeated and shrunk down to nothingness, or at least it was assumed. Now that the second trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is out, it seems as if fans finally know what happened to Cross after that battle, as he is spotted hovering behind Kang as the iconic villain. When it comes to the nature and look of MODOK, it seems like fans are already fiercely divided in opinions of the big screen version of this famous villain and have converged on Twitter to let loose a mighty deluge of thoughts and comments. On the negative side of opinions, one viewer wrote, I hate MODOK's design with a passion. Look at him, I can't stop laughing. He's giving Frogface unmasked. Another fan had some strong words, posting, Why did you give us the ugly-ass George Lopez MODOK instead of the Marvel's Avengers cooler version of MODOK? This is a reference to Lopez's character, Mr. Electric, from The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl, who also sports a bulbous head and was noted several times in fan comments. On the flip side, there are some fans who absolutely love the MODOK in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, so what are their thoughts? One fan of the new look tweeted, I don't care. I love what they're doing with MODOK. These movies are adaptations. Let them adapt stuff. Not everything needs to be comic accurate. One Marvel fan posted side-by-side -side images of the character from the movie and the comics and added, All y'all who are dogging on Marvel for MODOK's design, I just have one question. How the hell were Marvel supposed to make this design not look strange in live action? With the deluge of comments that are both for and against this new version of MODOK, it will be interesting to see what opinions look like when Quantumania finally premieres and the dust settles on the divisive giant floating head.